Hello, everybody. This is Dagos4444. And new recording method. Woohoo! So we're just going to kind of get straight to it and go to our next destination, which is going to be the Shadow Temple. Probably one of my least favorite. I mean, Shadow makes it sound cool. It's just a zombie hitville or something. It's a pretty scary place, and it's really annoying. There's visible stuff everywhere. I don't know. Though, fortunately, unlike <coughs> the Water Temple, it is incredibly linear. Actually, unlike pretty much every other temple in this game, it's pretty linear. Maybe the Deku Tree was kind of non-linear. I mean linear. But... Our destination lies here in Kakariko Village. And there is a uh, burning. Is that the windmill burning or the house or. Stuff's on fire pretty much. Just leave it at that. There's Sheik over there. Sheik is obviously gonna tell us something. Usually in poetry. That's probably one of the least polite things Sheik says the entire game. Something dangerous. Let's stand there. Haha. Okay, Sheik was just attacked by an invisible monster. And for some reason it retains somewhat of a form just to fight you. Now, I don't understand this, but for some reason Link decides that's a good idea to try to slash that thing with his sword, even though it's a non-solid material. But either way, he doesn't even attack him, he just holds his shield up. If that were actually me, I would have done something completely different, but that's just me. You know that feeling you get when you really have to go to the bathroom, but you just can't? That's called constipation. I believe it's usually caused by too much fiber. And I've been having way too much Raisin Brain Crunch lately. So... If I ever sound like I'm in pain, it's probably because I have to go to the bathroom, but I won't. It's like those people who play World of Warcraft all day and choose not to go to the bathroom so they die of not going to the bathroom. Except that I just can't. Wow, Sheik is going to teach us a song. That's surprising. Infinite Darkness? That doesn't sound very appealing. Oh well. This is actually one of my favorite songs, actually. Yes, actually, right now my TV is... Hold on. Yeah, my TV is actually at pretty low volume, so you're not hearing the game's audio multiple times. So if you hear a slight audio from the game, it's probably coming emanating from my camera, which is at somewhere around where my foot is. Nocturne of Shadow. Excellent. Snap. Oh, snap. Oh, such a good one. You know, I'm not sure if I can hear the camera or the TV better. Oh, so let me mute my TV. Um. Yeah, okay. My camera is making it pretty loud, just at the audio I want it at. Now, I can't hear my own voice coming out of the camera because I can hear it better from where I am here. If you didn't already realize this commentary is live. See, if you notice right there, there's a little fire 
sigil or whatever that'd be called. That's kind of hinting that you use Din's fire. Honestly, I did not notice that until just now, but it is. This is the only place you actually need Din's fire, if I correct, if I'm correct. All the other places you can do a makeshift fire arrow or set it on fire some other way. Hold on. First of all, I do not want the Zora tunic. I like the go on one. Alright. This temple revolves around the use of this thing. The one's the truth. But we're gonna continue the temple next video. Good day, everybody.